Hello, beloved. I trust your day has been very fruitful. And I trust that the Lord who promises and delivers has been faithful unto you. Welcome once again to Pillow Gospel. We'll turn around for a quick commercial break and be back with the word of the living God. Amen and Amen. Salut, bonjour à tous. I'm Erika Josia, a proud former student of Arches Media Institute. Thanks to Arches Media, I achieved my goals and my dreams have come true. And today, I'm working as a journalist with the Pan-African TV, Africa News. To you who have always dreamt of becoming a great journalist, I will recommend to you only one school and the best one, Arches Media Institute. With more than eight years of experience in training journalists from several countries, including Congo, Gabon, Kenya, and many more, Arches Media is the private media school you can really trust. Arches Media is located in Accra, Ghana. You can call them to the number below your screen. Arches Media, integrity with professionalism. Welcome once again, beloved, to another edition of Pillow Gospel. Today, the Lord has sent me to share with you his word of promise. The word of God is full of living promises, breathing promises that comes into fruition and fulfillment by the grace and power of God. We go through life and we go through situations, but remember, every aspect of our life is by God's own beautiful time. The Lord has set the times of men, the times of humanity, and the times of the universe upon his wrist and when the time is right in god's own beautiful times he makes all things perfectly beautiful beloved today we share the word of god with you from isaiah chapter 46 from the fourth verse of the niv version the bible reads and will forever read even to your old age and gray hair i am he I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. Beloved, the introduction to this verse is so powerful and it unveils God's mighty word of promise and power. The Lord is telling you, even to your old age, that means the Lord has promised you that you will fulfill your days fully your times and hours will not be cut short there wouldn't be a point of accident in the life of the believer and the righteous any time and any set times of your life happens not by happenstances or by luck the lord is telling you and has promised you that even to your old age that means like Abraham, who lived under the promise of the Lord, you shall fully fulfill your days. I prophesy unto you, fulfill the fullness of your days. In the name of Christ Jesus, fulfill the fullness of your days. Like Abraham, may your eyes never fail. And like the children of Israel, may your footwear never wear out. And may you not go through diseases. That bring an abrupt end to your life by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. Beloved, the word of God is true and full of power. And the Lord is telling you, you shall come to a point of gray hair. You shall come to a point of old age. Why? Because he that promises is faithful. And the Lord said, I am he. He is telling you a definite a definite promise. He is not telling you it may happen. He is telling you I am the one. Many a times when we are going to look for somebody or something, we often say I am looking for a person. But when we are definite about the person we are looking for, we say I am looking for the person. And so for the Lord to tell you I am he, that is an ever present word of trust that is a word of trustworthiness that means the lord knows what he is talking about and the name he's giving you tells you that he is the man and the god of power and he's telling you from the beginning he was he even now he is he 
and to the end, he will be he. So he is telling you, it doesn't matter the situations of life. I am leading you to your gray hair. I am leading you to your old age. For I am he who has promised, and I am faithful and carry out my promises. For the Lord to tell you that even to your gray hair, a gray hair signifies wisdom, and a gray hair signifies glory. The Lord is telling you he is not just going to carry you to your old age, but he will carry you to your old age in glory. He will carry you to your old age, giving you the revelations of wisdom that would lead you to the expected end. I prophesy upon you that the faithful God who has promised you lead you by wisdom and by his spirit give you the directions, the guidance, the revelation, and the power to get to the expected end by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Christ Jesus. The Lord continues to tell you that I am he who will sustain you. That means there are times we may depend on other things, but those other things cannot give us sustenance. He's telling us there is a point and a source of sustenance, and the source of origin of sustenance is the Lord God Almighty, the creator of life, the beginning and the end. He set forth the beginning, he set forth time, and he controls and carries time on his shoulder, on his hand, and leads it to the expected end. He is telling me to tell you that you don't have any other sustenance. If there is anyone who can sustain you, it is the Lord, it is the Lord, it is the Lord. When you go for an Apple phone, when you go for an iPhone, and there is a servicing to be done, the only place you can go for parts to services, for services, are from the Apple company themselves. You can never tell me that an Apple came out, uh, Apple came out with an iPhone, but it takes Infinix to provide the parts for you to service it. In the same way, the Lord who created you is also your source of sustenance. He is servicing your life through all situations and through all ages, even through His glory to the point of old age. I prophesy unto you, be sustained by the Lord. Be sustained by the glory of the Lord. Even as you go forth unto the Lord, He who has promised will sustain you. Beloved, in, the, in January 2000, scientists made a very startling discovery. Whilst researching through the nucleic acid in every human being, that is the foundation of life. And they came to a point of discovery that showed that there are four letters in every human being's DNA. The letters are YHWH. And when you go into the Old Testament, you realize that God's holy name, I am that I am, was rendered in the Old Hebrew Testament, the Old Hebrew Scriptures, H Y H W H. And in theology, we call it the Tetragrammaton. The Lord, by this act, is telling man that he is the one who has created man. And he has placed his imprint and thumbprint and signature, even in the very DNA, in the very life fiber of man. That tells you that he who created you has marked you out. And he has marked you out to sustain you. He has marked you out to carry you through life. And he has marked you out to rescue you through the rough situations of life. And when you go through this name of the Lord, it tells you the unsearchable nature of God's love, the unsearchable nature of his power to sustain, the unsearchable nature of his fatherliness and godliness. Beloved, Yahweh is his name. I am he is what he is telling us. I am that I am is the name he gave Moses. And by this name, he's telling humanity that when it comes to your sickness, I am that I am, for I will manifest as Rofika to heal you. When it comes to when you are despaired, he, will, he is who he is, and he will manifest to, as Nekuma to give you your comfort. When it comes to the point where you lack, 
Oh, Jehovah Jireh will come and provide for you like he provided the lamb for Abraham. The Lord is the God who is so mighty and he is promising and he is giving you his living word, the word of life and the word of breath. And the word of life he is giving you is, you can trust in me with all your heart. I am so dependable. I am so forthcoming with my faithfulness. I am so kind with my love. And I am so faithful with my promises. I am he. I am he who is telling you this. And in all your situations, I come as the God of different manifestations to come and rescue you, to come and carry you forth, to come and sustain you. Are you in need of peace? The Lord is he, for he is your shalom. Are you in need of somebody who will Lord direct and get you to the expected end? The Lord is he, and he has come forth as your Adonai. I don't know what you are going through, but he comes through his Cabo glory as Emmanuel, the God who is with you, and he will carry you to the expected end. His name is Yahweh, and the power of his name is vested in the name above every other name. And at the mention of that name, it doesn't matter the situations of your life. It doesn't matter the evils that you are going through. All those knees will bow down and every tongue of accusation will be confounded and will come out to only declare that Jesus is he, the Lord God Almighty, who has promised and has delivered. The Lord has promised to set a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Your cup is always going to run over. It doesn't matter what you are going through. For even though you may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, the Lord is here and the Lord has promised to sustain you. Beloved, have faith in the Lord. Have faith in the word of the Lord. For he gave us his word in Revelation chapter 21 verse 5. That he who sits upon the throne of heaven has declared unto us that his word is making everything new. He has sent his Holy Spirit by his word. To create new situations in our lives. He has sent his Holy Spirit by his word. To restore and to resurrect everything that is dead. He has sent his Holy Spirit by his word. To perform the impossible in your life. Indeed with man things may be impossible. But with God all things are possible. Be enriched by the presence of the Lord. Receive the glory of the Lord. The Lord will get you to the expected end. You are growing to your old age. You are getting to the point of glory in gray hair. It doesn't matter the sicknesses you are in now. It doesn't matter the challenges that is threatening to put you into prison. The Lord is breaking forth. And like he broke the chains of, of Paul and Silas and brought them out of the prison. Like he broke the doors of the prison and brought out Peter. The Lord is breaking the chains of your life. The Lord is lifting up the anchor of your life. The Lord is changing the situations of your life. This is a new dispensation. And this is the dispensation of God's glory. The Lord has sent me to promise you. So receive this promise of the Lord by prophecy. Receive this promise of the Lord by prayer. That he is he even to your gray hair. He is he even to your old age. And he is the Lord of your rescue. He is the God who will sustain and he is the God who will carry you to the expected end. God bless you even as you have heard his word. Believe in the word of the Lord. Carry it in your heart. Be crushed by this word. Be broken by this word. And when you have come to this point of acceptance, the Lord is he. He is the definite God. He is unique in his ways. And what he promises is yes and his word is confirmed with our Amen. Be blessed, be richly blessed by this word of the Lord. Shall we share a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, your word is true. Thank you that you are sustaining us. Thank you that you are carrying us forth. And thank you that, Father, you will rescue us through all situations. And we would fulfill all our days. And like Abraham, who is the father of this promise, Father, we would have the fullness of life. 
We will never lose our sight even in our old age. And our footwear will never win out. Father, thank you that we will enjoy your glory even to the end of our life. Sustain us, O Lord, and continue to carry us forth, even as you rescue us by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Christ Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you, beloved. Till we meet again, this has been another edition of Pillow Gospel on TVP TV. By God's servant, by your servant, Peter. Shalom and peace to you. Bye for now.